You know, I feel like YouTube movie reviews are really the purest form of reviewing a thing that someone can do. Like, sure, we all need views, but our real duty is to our audience. I mean, trust in a YouTube channel is so key that it's not even funny. So if I have dif differentiating opinions due to my own f fanboyism or whatever, I'm not going to risk that to lose the trust of your audience where you guys no longer think that I'd be a credible mo movie resource. Now, the very first movie that I'm ever going to review on this channel, as you guys can see right here, of course, is Kingsman The Golden Circle. Now, when this movie first announced, it had my mouth watering in careful, skeptic optimism, if that's even a thing. Kingsman 2, right? The, the, the first one blew us all out of the water. It was charming. It was action-packed. All of the action scenes were shot very, very well. And for the most part, people enjoyed it. You know, it wasn't a great movie by really any stretch of the word, but it was highly entertaining. And it's something that you can just put on the TV with a friend, with, you know, just who, with really whomever, and just have a good time watching it. And I, and it's not like it was a mega box office draw, but it did well. And people, including myself, really, really loved it. Really, we all knew the movie was too good and too popular to not have a sequel. And when I heard of the sequel, like I said, I was thinking, yes! But then, oh wait, they're really gonna mess this up, aren't they? But to tell you guys the truth, yeah. Yeah, they did kind of mess this one up. I mean, okay, so first, let, let, let me get this completely out of the way. It's not a terrible movie. It's not a bad movie by any stretch of the word. If you have, you know, the, the, the money and or the time to go and check out this movie, I would definitely do it because it deserves a watch. It's funny um, and you're going to have a good time. But this movie suffers from things that most kind of sequels do that weren't really plan to have a sequel if that makes sense what like i said what did the first kingsman have it had charm it was a little bit silly and really if we're being honest it was a parody of spy movies of james bond and just any other spy movie that you can it kind of exaggerated things that you know pop popular spy movies namely jane james bond or the double the 007 series does it had extremely outrageous gadgets and uh they would really emphasize you know sex and all these different things and that's what made it entertaining the silly factor in the first kingsman was dialed at about a five or a six but this movie they dial it all the way up to ten and sometimes it works and when it and but then at times it really conflicts because it doesn't take itself seriously throughout most of the movie but then it really does try to take itself seriously it's it's almost a movie that doesn't know what it wants to be. And with about half an hour left in the movie, you really know where this is going. And at that point, I was kind of already, you know, checked out. And I feel like if this is if this was the direction that they wanted to go with this movie, they should have just fully embraced it and just been a complete 007 parody. Now, that's not the direction that I wanted it to go, but I really, really appreciate when, when a movie knows what it wants to be. And it is that. Now, like I said, you know, as much as it may sound like I'm bashing this movie, like I hated it, you know, I completely didn't. I really, really didn't. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would probably go watch it again, but don't expect anything from the sequel to be nearly as good as the first one, as it's kind of cliche at this point with movie sequels, and that's kind of a shame. Just to summarize this, this movie takes all the things that we really enjoyed about the first one and said, hey, Let's just make the whole movie that. And that oftentimes is a real mistake. Like, I don't know if you guys remember from the first King Kingsman, of course, that awesome, gruesome church scene, the way that it was shot, the way that they kind of use different camera techniques and CGI to kind of stitch all the shots together to really make it look like it's one shot. About 95% of the action sequences in this movie look just like that. And it starts off in the bat with a great action scene. And, and it had me just like, yes, we're going to get... A movie just as good and then it was all downhill from there and then it just kind of plateaued at a certain point so i'm working on a more creative kind of rating system that i haven't quite flourished out yet i have parts of it in my notes on my phone but it's just not all the way finished yet 
So for this movie, I'm just going to give it a solid star rating. And Kingsman deserves three and a half out of five stars. So guys, if if you guys have seen Kingsman 2, The Golden Circle, what did you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. The best thing about film is that it is completely subjective and everyone can have a different opinion about every movie as much as you may disagree with their opinion. But hey, that's fine. Let's let let's have a conversation down in the conversation down below. And without further ado, please drop a like if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe for future and past content from myself. Goodbye and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.